is not Noel, is not the baby, is not the baby mother alone co commit this murder involving it. Noel and another man and another lady is involved in it. So it's all four of them involved in this whole murder situation. He can't sue nobody. He might go to jail, go do time anyway. So he not make a difference. He can't sue nobody, he can't do nobody, nothing. Right? No. Like I said to you before, this is coming from Noel Mouth. Out of his mouth. Listen again, this is coming from out of Noel Mouth to his liar. And his liar is building a case to make Noel look good. If Noel said, boy, he might go through distress and all kind of problem and in the past suicide, watch or whatever it is. The, the fact of the matter is that Noel, you know what your baby mother have done and you help your baby mother have covered it up and see them will come down to the end of the idea that you have no choice but to talk what have happened in that apartment. You have no choice to talk what's happened in that apartment. And your liar know about it. I don't want your liar come up and lie and try to come pretty up things and make you look good. Because you're a murderer. No, people. This is what have taken place inside of the apartment. And not only that, too. Let's add the other person. The woman that lives inside of the apartment. The woman that lives inside of the apartment. The woman that lives inside of the apartment that pick up your phone and call the baby mother. You should be arrested and charged also. The lady that lives in the apartment and just so you know, the police them onto you and they are going to lock you up for what you have done. You have also helped these people of murdering the people in Gal Pitney. Now people, the baby mother, as I said to you before, right? And one whole can be in a one situation. The baby mother went to the apartment and the baby mother get in a fight with the girl. While they get in a fight with the girl, the baby mother and the other girl that was just strangling people and girl pitney and killing people and girl pitney. This is exactly what have happened at the apartment. And this has come from over mouth, Noel mouth, to the liar mouth. It's coming from his mouth, nobody else. Right? No, check this out now. Me not go to jail for no baby mother, no ex-wife, no son, no daughter, no auntie, no cousin, nobody. Me not go to jail for nobody. Here's the thing why you are going to get this the maximum sentence as that girl. You know what she have done. And when time the girl killed the girl and called and you went to the apartment, you call your friend, which is the squad brother, to come over the apartment. That's what you did. Right? You, you know what the girl did because she called you. You was the one and the squad boy who get rid of the girl body. And what you should have done and all that, whether or not your baby mother and so forth, you should have done your job as a police officer, right? And reported it. You should have turned around and arrested your own baby mother and taken your baby mother for committing a murder. You did not do so. You helped your baby mother of get rid of the girl body. And here's the thing at the end of the idea. If you didn't have a conscience and care about this girl, remember, say, so you used to lay down on top of these other people and girls, you know? You should tell this girl and say you love her and all of that, right? You should have done the right thing as a police officer. You are not above the law, right? You're supposed to serve and protect, and you did not do so, boss man, right? From the fact of the matter is that your baby mother tell you what happened and when you go to the apartment, and sister the girl dead, you should have never touched the girl in the first place. You should have locked up your baby mother, you should have alerted the authority, and your baby mother should have been arrested. The fact that you help your baby mother cover up this whole thing, you are a part of the murder. You are a part of it. Hold on, let go on that, sir. Right? You are a part of the murder. Now you go to the liar and I tell the liar, say, boy, you never know what happened. You never did it and so forth. And you were so much in shock and all of that cock and bull story and you didn't know what to do. What do you mean you did not know what to do? What do you mean you never know what to do? You was in shock. You went into your apartment, you know, your apartment, you know, boss man. Your apartment. And you see a body inside of your apartment. If you know that you didn't want to be a part of it, you should have alerted the authority because you are a police officer. The baby mother call you and tell you something, right? And because the baby mother is keeping your dirt, you are keeping your dirt, you help your baby mother of doing, of committing a crime. 
And at the end of the day, a boss man, I am not saying that I am not condoling in none of this. But what you should have done as a police officer, instead of touch the body and get rid of the body, you should have make it be a, 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 a way where the family get the body that the mother and the sister and brother know what have happened to them Pitney. You, you have done what you have done. And as I said to you before, people, I am still waiting, right? Right? I am still waiting, right? I am still waiting for the information to see if this is what really happened. Because if the information is correct, if the person do what they're doing, but only thing I can say this, right? Noel, one thing we can say if this is what happened. And the Jamaica police force, the commissioner of police, no matter what no one has said about bloggers and bloggers are circus and bloggers are this, who no getting the information from Yasso? Yasso means social media, helping no through the investigation. So at the end of the day, whether you don't like it or not, you have to take it. What I will say to a police officer, do the research. You don't need to visit a funeral home in Olaba. You don't need to visit a funeral home in Olaba. Like I said, you don't need to visit a funeral home in Olaba. And the funeral home in Olaba, the first name starts with a Y. You don't do the maths from there, so. Do the maths from there. The first name starts with a Y. Do the maths from there, so. It's a possibility until it's confirmed that this young lady body was taken to this place in Olaba. And we are going to wait to see if it could because I'm gonna tell you something, I'm gonna black someone. I'm gonna tell you something. I don't want you to come by my, my page. Um Tasha or whatever you name it, do not come by my page. With this, with this, with this joking thing, yeah. Don't do it. If your company is, it's a serious business. This is somebody' life. This is not not video, not other man, not nothing. So one of the people, there's a time and place for everything. There's a time and place for everything. Please do not come by my page with a joking thing, because this this could have been your sister or your mother or your cousin, yeah. Don't do that something there, please. No disrespect to you. Right? Don't do it. <laughs> anyway, back to the conversation. Like I said to the family member before, condolence to the family member. Condolence to Danali family. It is a very sad situation what have happened to that young lady. She did not deserve what she get, but it's at the point now where it is, is that she's not coming back. She's gone. Not existent anymore. Because of this monster, this woman. Just because of a man. She had no business going in the apartment in the first place. And the lady that call her from the complex, she had no business picking up her phone and call her and tell her that the girl is in the apartment. It's not some of the people who say people, business and relationship and leave it alone. Leave it alone. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. <laughs> 